typical Phil out here doing the get loose on the dance floor. He's stepping, so we we got some action. Oh, there it go. I think this is Carlton playing tennis. Seems you got a lot of free time. You might want to pick up some hours. Their Uncle Phil is always trying to teach these boys how to be men. Now, this might come after Will has said he's done with basketball because he got a lot of free time or is after school is over with. So if Will is trying to quit basketball, this is probably before Lou shows up. Probably or This is probably like episode one here. Hey, you got some free time. Will's talking about quitting basketball or episode two. I think they're going to try to speed it up to get them into the actual country clusters. It's probably episode one. Will's fucking up in basketball. He's iffy on if he wants to play summer ball or not because he just can't get the rhythm down. And Uncle Phil's like, man, you got to get a job then. You're not going to be sitting around the house farting around, eating up all the food. Every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen eating all the hog malt. Is it the country club? Why? You could use a job too. Wait, what? Oh. To the pit. Summer is the now Jeffrey is back, and we know that Jeffrey's son. We're gonna talk about that towards the end because they got the picture of him and Frederick eating. But these two are back together. He had to let Jeffrey go do what he had to do. They had their little argument, their difference, but now it's back, and he's treating Jeffrey more like a well, he was treating Je like Jeffrey in Bel Air is different than. The original butler, Jeffrey. This Jeffrey was, you know what I'm saying? He was making some money. He was clean as hell. He was pretty much the man outside of Uncle Phil. But now Uncle Phil is showing him equal and mutual respect. Like, okay, I get what you got going on. I get you making moves. So I can respect that. Where is the season of... Now, it looks like Aunt Viv is winning some awards for her, I don't know, for her drawings, because she did get him into the, I guess, I guess her paintings are winning awards now. Either that or they're putting it, because she. What did she have? She had something to do with the campaign. When they were doing the campaign, they were doing auctions. We know in season one, they did an auction and Uncle Phil was buying stuff. Michael Ely came along. I forgot his name. Then uh wasn't Joanne, Joanne, the friend. She introduced her to the old, well, not introduced her, but encouraged her to get into the old ladies. Um, I don't even know what that thing was, man. That art stuff had got me confused. But it looks like she's winning awards. And this dude's telling Uncle Phil, man, you can't hide forever. Your family is like. I know there ain't little Ashley back there. Oh, she got a regular cup. I would say because Jeff got champagne over here. I would say Ashley better not be drinking. Family is like perfection. I don't want our fairy tale to end. Now, there was a, uh, oh, here we go. Because I definitely have you. Now, just wait a minute. Somehow, I'm still wrong. Is this Aunt Viv right here? Wait a minute, who was Phil drinking with? What's really going on? Move on. Because I definitely have you. I'm still wrong. Because there is Erica. There's none of it. No, that ain't. This ain't on Viv. Come on, Phil. I got your back, brother, but you can't you can't be called drinking individually one on one with her. Come on, Phil. You gonna do this. You gotta know you gotta do this in a group setting. It's gotta be at least at least 
five people. Because if it's two and two, they're going to think it's a double date. There's got to be at least five people around while you guys are celebrating your accomplishments. Come on, Phil. Don't be out here. Come on. This is a rookie mistake. No, nah, he ain't no cheater. He's out here paying the bills, putting a roof over on Viv's head. That's what he's out here doing. We ain't seen on Viv go to work in two seasons. Hell, the only money on Viv made was because Uncle Phil paid for the paintings. Come on, Phil. Get right, Phil. Come on. It's on the trailer. So they, they're, 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 they're trying to confuse us. They're trying to confuse us. Phil ain't doing nothing. He just got he just got his sleeves rolled up. He just got his jacket taken off. They just drinking on some yak straight on the rocks. That's all. That's all. That's it. That, that this is a businessman. You think he's about to no, this is a businessman running for office. Yeah, there's nothing to see here. We're 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 overanalyzing. That's what that's what that's what the problem with people nowadays. Move on, because I definitely have to. Somehow I'm still wrong. Because none of it feels real. And then... And then she ain't giving him no loving. Come on, on Viv. Every every season you're driving Uncle Phil further and further away. It feels like nothing he's doing is right. I know, I know he only got a queen size. This ain't even. A, is this a queen size? This is like a full size bed. Ain't no way Uncle Phil got all this money and they ain't got no king. Ain't no way they living in a full size, a queen size at best. Ain't no way they supposed to have a king size up in here, Uncle Phil. She ain't giving you no loving either. <sighs> you know what, Uncle Phil? If nothing you're doing is right here, you need to go out, get some fresh air, grab a drink, and go be around people that feel like the things you are doing are right. And if that means having a drink with Erica by yourself, inventing what's going on at your home you have every right to this just ain't right what Aunt Viv is doing to this man I hope this is just the way the trailer is put together but Uncle Phil go have that drink go out have that drink with Erica sit down and just 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 free your mind of all the negativity because when you go home that aura that you're around you don't want that negativity Especially when you're the breadwinner, when you making sure that the lights are on, you making sure that there's a roof over the head, you making sure that the cars are paid off, you making sure that the insurance is paid, you making sure that there's an extra room that your wife can go paint in. You're making sure that both of your, all of your kids have a better life than what they would have had if they would have stayed their raggedy asses in Philly. So go have that drink, Uncle Phil. Go relax. Go get it off your chest because obviously Aunt Viv is ungrateful for what she got here in this house. She could go out to San Diego with a nigga, but she won't let you have a drink with a business partner in your own city. Go out. Do what you got to do, Uncle Phil. Because damn it, if you sit around and wait on somebody, then it's not going to get done. It's not going to get done. Bob the Builder told her, told us, can we fix it? Yes, we can. And the only way you fix this is you go out, you have you a nice scotch on the rocks with Erica, and you let her know that, hey, business is business, and you and I need to do more business. Cheers. Cheers. And you need to go home and tell Aunt Viv, if she ain't getting with the program, she needs to get out of the bed and go sleep in that damn art room that she got. Because this bed here, this bed that I bought, I bought this bed for happiness. Love and happiness, not sadness. So if you're going to be sad, you ain't going to be 
trying to cuddle up with a nigga, you need to go get on that couch downstairs, or you need to go get on the damn floor, take two of your easels, lay them down, draw a pillow on one of them, and lay your ass down there, because this bed is for love and happiness. This bed ain't for you to be turning your back on me. What did, what did Mufasa say to Scar? Don't turn your back on me. And what did Scar said? <laughs> And we had to get rid of Scar because what did Scar do later on? Stab Mufasa in the hands and threw him off the cliff. You don't want to let Viv get to that point. We already know that she went to San Diego with old green blue eye guy. Reed, Reed Broderick. You remember that guy? Yeah. Me too. Me too. Me too. You go out, you have that drink with this business partner. You go have you a drink with this business partner. You let Erica know, yes, we can work together. Yes, my family's going to benefit from our business relationship. Nothing physical, business. Sometimes you got to make deals with the devil, y'all. And sometimes you got to. We've all made a deal with the devil at one point in our life. If you just think back right now, we've all made a deal with the devil at one point in life. You know what I mean? That may not be nothing too extreme, but you made a deal with the devil. Yeah, everybody has. And all I'm saying is, in order for us to keep this roof over our head, because Aunt Viv ain't got no job right now, Uncle Phil got to do what Uncle Phil got to do. And if that means we got to take down uh, Erica, then we got to take down Erica. I'm sorry. Cause none of it feels real. Cause none of it feels real. What does she mean? Nothing feels real. Somehow I'm still wrong. Cause none of it feels real. What does she mean? Nothing feels real. What what do, what, do, what do they mean by nothing feels real? Them diamonds in your ear, I'm sure they feel real. Them diamonds on that necklace, I'm sure they feel real. That champagne you drinking feels real. That dress you got on feels real. You going to San Diego feels real. What does she mean it doesn't feel real? He's trying to make it right. He's asking, what can I do to make it right? Because nothing I'm doing seems right. And she's telling him it just doesn't feel real. Come on, uh, Viv. Not another season of us arguing. Not another season of us arguing. Fussing and fighting. Oh, well, that's Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil. We're going to figure out what the hell's going on. It does look like Phil's about to be, I don't, I wouldn't say Phil's fucking off, but he's going to be messing with Erica as far as business goes. You got to do, like, come on, man. If you turn down all business with attractive women, then you're never going to get anywhere in life. If you don't have any composure where you can't do business with a woman, if you can't trust somebody to do business with, that's on you, man. Uncle Phil, listen. Uncle Phil hasn't done anything that has us persuading our perception of Uncle Phil. I don't even know what this is, this protest and stuff. Don't hide forever, Phil. This is just how it ends. Then Jeffrey talking about his son, Frederick. Don't hide forever, Phil. He'll hide it forever. This is just how it ends. This is just how it ends. So is he saying he's done for good? Don't hide forever, Phil. This is just how it ends. This is just how it ends. So who took this picture? Oh, unless Phil had a private investigator and he was the, okay, he was the one chasing around. Oh, that's right. Hmm. So what is Jeffrey saying, man? I'm about to go hide my son or I'm going to hide away. And this is the last time I'm working for you. Don't hide 
forever, Phil. This is just how it ends. Damn, come on, Jeffrey. Don't leave us. It's just season three, man. We got two more seasons left. And then we got this protest. And so I'm wondering, is this still coming from last season? Is this like rollover or, oh, he may have made a new deal. May have made like a new deal with Erica. And this is people outside saying, hey, man, that's messed up, man. You made this deal. It's fucking us over out here. I do want to know what this protesting is about, though, but I guess we have to wait for the season for this. This is a nice-ass house. I bet that landscaping is probably about $2,500, $3,000 a month. You don't know what you want. I'm not just some druggy rich kid who ruined his life. And you always told me I was controlling my own destiny. There's always going to be a price. That's on you. And who y'all think old school Jeffrey's talking to? Phil? Or is he talking to younger Jeffrey? That's the question we need to find out. Is old Phil talking? I mean, not Phil. Old Jeffrey talking to young Jeffrey? He says everything has a price, but it's for you to find out. It's for you to find out. <laughs> we shall see. Well, August 15th. Season three is back. Season three is back, man. I think it's going to be a great season. It's be looking like it might be one of the best because each season was just building up on top of each one. So it was, I will say there hasn't been a dull season. I mean, it's only been two seasons, but when you look at other shows, you know, saying it's peers, there's been some seasons we're like, eh. But I think Bel Air is just going up. Each, each season is just going up. I have no complaints. I do want to see how this season is going to play out. It's 10 episodes. Like I said, it comes out on the 15th. So 